What's going on guys? Just got done filming a walleye video out on the lake I'm on right now. If you want to check out that video, some fun fish catches on a cool way to catch a walleye, the Acme Castmaster. Um, it'll be the previous video I did, or I'll link it down in the description or something. But now we're going to talk about basically where I'm finding these walleyes this time of year. You know, fall is kind of starting to get here. We got a little bit warmer week this week, but fall, fish are definitely setting up in their fall areas. Um, so we're going to go into a little bit of that location wise where we're looking for fish. Uh, we're going to go into what fish look like on side imaging, how they relate to structure, what the walleyes look like on sonar and down imaging. We're going to include a lot of screenshots. So if you guys are out on the lake struggling, you know, looking for fish, I'm going to do my best to give you guys as many pointers as I can. I basically, you know, if you're going to come out on one of these bigger natural lakes, what kind of structures you can look for and, uh, you know, what you can expect walleyes to look like. So um, stay tuned. I'm going to make it as informational as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right, so before we get into actually looking at fish on the graph and showing you guys structure, you obviously have to, when you come to a lake, you have to know somewhat where to start, right? So generally fall means fishing slightly deeper or shallow. Now this time of year, we're still not to turn over yet. So most of our fish get pinned in deeper water for the most part. In these bigger natural lakes, I'm fishing a lot of 25 to 30 feet right now, or I'm fishing in like 35 feet and the fish are up five feet. So they're definitely relating to that basically roughly 30 foot zone, right? So an easy way when you come to a new lake to kind of pick out spots is on your hummingbird is go menu, menu. You're gonna come to hummingbird chart here. Scroll down to depth highlight. I pretty much do this in all my videos. I'm gonna stick this at probably 25 feet and then I'm gonna turn this up to like, let's say seven feet, five to seven feet. So that's gonna highlight everything seven feet side to side of 27. Now that's kind of a wide highlight zone. But for this purpose, it's gonna be all right to show you guys what we're looking at. So we obviously have a lot of deeper basin out in here. That's pretty deep water. I'm seeing a lot of 60, 50 feet, upper 40s, stuff like that. The green is seven feet, both sides at 25. So that's kind of the fishable zone we're looking at. You know, I don't like to fish walleyes deeper than about 35 feet of water. Um, so, you know, the first thing we're gonna do is basically look for either flats or structure that tops out in that zone. So, you know, one of the first ones that pops out at me here is this one right here. This is part of kind of a shallow water point. Then off to the side, we have this hump that tops out at 28. This is either gonna be sand or it's gonna be rock. We're not growing weeds that deep. So most of these fish are relating to some kind of hard bottom, whether that's sand, if it's rock, most of the time that's an even better thing. Um, but as far as, you know, what we're fishing, as far as structure goes, it's either one of those two things. It's either sand or rock or a transition between those two things. So next thing you do is drive around a spot like this and basically look for fish on the graph, look for good quality rock or stuff like that. Um, so another spot, you know, just cruising around the basin here that's popping out at me. I might take another zoom out here. Is this kind of area here. Now this one is not highlighted, but what you can see here, we basically have, this is a large flat out in here. You know, we're deep 50, 60 feet of water here, upper 40s water here. And then we have this kind of connecting piece here. And I'm gonna try to turn this up a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit more. I might highlight, let's say 35 to 43 feet here. So I'm gonna go menu, menu, uh, let's see, 35, we'll just leave it right there and see what happens. So we have this flat out in here, right? So this is that shallow hump we were looking at that comes up to 26, 27 now. Deep water over here. And now we have this flat that's basically 32 feet to like 38 feet out in here. Now, when you have a big flat section like this with some up and down in it, like you can see we got deeper water here, uh, deeper water over here. There's probably some hard bottom spots out in this stuff. This is the kind of transition area that walleyes love to be in this time of year and really into the late fall. They're gonna be on a lot of this kind of these big roaming flat areas. Now the next thing I'll do is basically just turn my side imaging real wide, start driving around and looking for hard to soft bottom transitions or any little blip out in that uh, bigger flat area. That might all be hard bottom or it could be, by the looks of it, it's probably a big soft bottom area. But if you have any high spots out in there, any little fingers of um, sand or rock that come out, that's gonna be an awesome spot to check this time of year when these fish are in transition. And generally when I'm doing that, I'll turn my side imaging super wide and I'll just make a pass down it and highlight you know, either a hump or just a bottom change or something like that. Then come back and look for, that or look for fish that are sitting up off the bottom. So I'm gonna turn this back to kind of that that highlighted zone we are looking at, which is kind of like 25 um, plus or minus a few. It's real easy once you start looking at it for spots that are gonna pop out at you on the map. So what else do we have here? 
let's see, this lake might have been kind of a bad option because there's not like just a ton of structure. Here's another one down here. If we zoom in on it, we're gonna see we got this big open basin. We have this big open basin right here. And right on the south end of this big open basin, we have two fingers. Now the real obvious spot, which everybody probably fishes all year, is this one right here. You know, this is definitely probably a rock spine. I'm just guessing that. I've never actually been on this lake, but that's probably the way it looks is a rock spine. It's real narrow. It comes up, goes down deep water on both sides. That's probably holds fish for a lot of the season. Now this time of year in this fall period, this is probably going to be the hot spot, or this is the kind of characteristic I'm looking for. Got our basin right here. It just kind of comes up real gradual. It cups in right there. And I don't know if this is gonna be all sand or if you'll have a little bit of mixed rock in here, but these deeper portions of structure like this is what I'm looking for. And a lot of times if you have something like this, now this is real, this is a very easy spot to forget by just looking at the map, because you have this spot with a ton of character right next to it. And this is basically just a finger, which is definitely hard bottom, next to a bigger deep basin. If you didn't set that depth highlight, that would be a tough spot to notice. Now, if this was just all round and the contour lines were real flat and it looked something more like, let's say, you know, this right here, I wouldn't be super concerned with what that spot is. You can tell this is all real gradual. It's all going the same way. There's no little fingers or knobs or anything. But if I come down here back to the spot which we were just looking at, you can see I have this little corner over here that whips like that. And a lot of times those are kind of those secret little discrete spots, those little rises in the bottom that hold a lot of fish this time of year. So, you know, basically this time of year, I'm generally looking a little bit deeper than I am the rest of the season. I'm looking for a lot of this kind of 25, 30 foot zone stuff, or I'll even fish a little bit deeper for fish that are off the bottom. And a lot of times this time of year, the spots are very discreet. They're not spots I fish the rest of the season. There are a lot of these fall transition or kind of roaming areas that I'm finding fish in. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're basically gonna drive around and show you guys a few of these spots. Some of them will be obvious, some of them will be real discreet. We'll show you walleyes on side imaging, down imaging, sonar, and all that good stuff to hopefully give you guys a better idea of where we're finding and catching a lot of these fall fish. All right, so spot number one. This is kind of a big flat. Uh, it's kind of a point, I guess. It comes off another piece of structure, but I kind of want to give you guys an idea of how discreet a lot of these spots are. You know, it's great if you have a big giant point complex with ups and downs, but uh, not a lot of lakes have a lot of big structure like that. So, you know, we're fishing um, a lot of kind of in this 25 to 30 foot zone right now. And we're coming over the spot right now. And it's kind of just a weaving maze of gravel with a little bit of rock in it and you're seeing it on side imaging right now. There's not really a lot for big rock or anything like that. I, you can see some fish on side imaging off to the right side here, so I'll kind of drive over to them. But what we just came over, so I'll take a screenshot of it here. That is the entire spot. There's not uh, no big rock, it's just that small rise. You can tell we're in 32 right now kind of real flat all around me and that little rise comes up to like 28 29 feet I think and that's what they like to sit on here so a lot of times you're not really going to be able to look at a map and pick these spots out a lot of times it's just coming out here to these flat areas in the correct zone and kind of driving around them and this is kind of a pattern that's holding on pretty much all the lakes that I'm walleye fishing right now so I'm going to try to come back here a little bit farther to the right so we can probably spot some of these fish coming up onto the high spot now, and I've got all this kind of little rock mapped out, um, or mainly where fish school mapped out. So you can see I'm in a little bit of rock. There's one big rock, a couple big rocks off the left side here. And we're not really seeing a lot of fish. And this is pretty normal to drive around a spot and just kind of weave back and forth, back and forth looking for fish. You can see I just fell off the side of the hump here. I'll get back on top of it. A lot of times it's not like I'm fishing this whole thing, right? Put the trail motor down and cast, 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 working up along. And a lot of times I'm finding a pod or a couple of pods of fish kind of on one of the sweet spots of a spot like this. And then I'm spot locking up from them. So, okay, so we just came over one of these little knobs right here. And right now on sonar, you can see some fish. You probably wouldn't see these fish with side imaging because they're right on one of the high spots. But you can see how small of a little rise that is and how those fish relate to it. And that is absolutely how fish hold on these spots. Um, 
for much of the year, but this is just a little bit deeper depth than we normally fish for these fish. So you can see I've actually got a couple hug in the bottom and then a couple of high ones here. So if I were to fish this spot, I'd get back up wind and I'd pitch something real tight. Cause it's not like I'm seeing fish just kind of all over out here. And I'm not marking them here on the sand. And each spot's gonna be a little bit different, you know, how you're seeing fish, how you're marking fish, how many fish are there and stuff like that. But, you know, the same thing applies. Very rarely past June, uh, once these fish hit deeper water than 15 feet, am I fishing for fish that I can't see on the graph? So, um, you know, if that's how you're already fishing, great. If it's not, you know, try to make that a priority. Always try to find fish. So you can see we just came over a little knob here, and this is the same exact thing as we just saw, where we have one of these areas of a little bit more characteristic. And how I know that is, here's our fish right here on sonar, and here's that high spot knob we just came over where there's a little bit more rock. So that's what walleyes look like. You can see there's definitely a couple of fish there. It's super easy to see. Um, and that's kind of, this is kind of the perfect example and why I wanted to start here. A lot of the structure that we're fishing right now, it's not a big spot that just has endless big rock because we don't have a lot of those structures in this 25 to 30 zone on this lake. If you do on your lake, great, check them out. But this is exactly what we're working for. A lot of these real discrete spots that you're normally finding with side imaging, waypointing kind of the gravel or rock and how it snakes down one of these spots and then going back and looking for fish either on top of it or off the side of the sand. All right, so here's the next spot we're gonna look at. The first thing you're gonna notice here is that we're fishing, we're just coming out of a hard to soft bottom transition. If I go ahead and screenshot this screen, you're gonna see that basically running perpendicular to me, there's a hard to soft bottom change right here. And you can see we're real bright colored right here, real dark colored right here. And a lot of times you'll see fish relating to that but this is basically a big flat 30 to 35 foot section and there's just this little tiny rise in it again here so we're coming over some of it right here and you can see you know i got a little bit of rock off to my right side here and this here's kind of a rise we're just popping up on we're not seeing anything too crazy yet and i always like running side imaging um, in these kind of areas because a lot of times the fish will be kind of just off the rise See if I pop back and forth between down and sonar, there's nothing here. A couple of rocks off the left there, but really as far as fish go, I'm not really seeing a whole lot. Uh, so they were actually here earlier today and I'm just not seeing it now. So we'll kind of double back on this spot. You can see I just came off that high spot. Now I'm in a real dark basin again over here to my right. And most of the structure is going to be to my left. And a lot of times you will actually see fish on that transition as far as hard bottom to soft bottom. And I can kind of cruise along in here and we'll see if we see any as a good example. Because a lot of times in the fall they will relate to this 30 foot soft bottom stuff. Especially if you have a... So here's a couple fish off to my right side. It's not a real great example though. We'll kind of keep cruising through it. So we're back in some real soft bottom stuff here. And here's a good screenshot right here. So it's still soft bottom, right? But side imaging reads extremely well when you're looking at a soft bottom like this. So I'll go ahead and screenshot it for you guys. But right here, we definitely have a pod of fish located. I'll screenshot it here quick. There's actually another one off the other side of the boat right over here you can definitely tell they're a few feet up off bottom here's another one hard returns we're getting black shadows kind of back behind it in here i'll screenshot the whole screen here just a little bit better for you guys um, but this is the kind of spot and you can see i'm going to swing the boat here we're actually between two hard bottom spots so that first one just didn't have any fish on it so um, you know we kept cruising around we saw a couple of those pods relating to that soft bottom between the humps and a lot of times, this time of year, those fish will be relating to these kind of transition lines like that. I mean, this is a really big flat. It probably runs for uh, many hundreds of yards out here, but there's these couple of little hard spots that fish will relate to out here. And on pretty much any lake in the fall, I guarantee that if you have structure like this, whether it's big or small, uh, there are definitely gonna be some spots to look at. So you can tell here in a second, I'm about to come back into a hard spot. And I'm not really seeing much life side to side. We're gonna flip it over to down imaging. And you can see right on that little knob right there, uh, we got a pod of fish. Um, that's definitely a hyper situation unless we start seeing a bunch more here somewhere else, which we're just not. And I'm driving the whole length of the spot right now. And in a second here, you're gonna see it tail off and we're gonna be back in soft bottom. 
an alternative side imaging. Here's another good screenshot. So I'm looking 80 feet side to side right now. It's 30 feet deep. So I'm only picking up 50 feet of the bottom going side to side. And I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot this for you guys. So you can, you can kind of see my GoPro just died. So we'll just do screenshots here. So you can see off to my right, I got a really good pot of walleyes relating to that soft bottom. And uh, just kind of right on that transition, you can see it gets real bright in that one spot, which is the hard bottom. And then you can see everything to the right of that is soft bottom. And those fish are pretty much right on that edge. Very cool to see. All right, so here's another scenario. We just came over a hump that comes out of basin. Now there's not a lot of like rocks or weeds or anything good looking on this hump, but you can see we got a good pot of walleyes here. And I'll screenshot it so you guys can see it and zoom in on it a little bit better. And there's what they look like on down imaging right there. Now this time of year, a lot of times if you just get at the right depth zone, if you're fishing a lake that has limited structure at kind of like that, you know, the sweet spot, maybe it's 15 to 20 feet. In this lake, it's probably 25 to 30 right now. You know, most of the time if you can get in that zone and find some kind of flat or hump, there's gonna be fish on it, especially on a little hard spot like this. So, you know, we went right over those fish. You can obviously see that's kind of the only ones on the hump. I didn't side image anymore. So most of the time this would be like a Hackney Hyper Rattle um, or just pitch a jig and a minnow back to it, something real quick like that. Um, but that's definitely a good stack of fish. And a lot of these deep clear natural lakes, that's kind of what you're looking for this time of year. You can see those fish are positioned right at the 30 foot line. They're sitting a few feet up, kind of like 26 to 30 foot zone. That's exactly what we're looking for. They're off the bottom. They're probably a little more active. So, you know, it, it doesn't have to be like the greatest looking spot of all time to hold fish this time of year. A lot of times in the fall, those fish just get sandwiched into a zone that they have to be in. And, uh, you know, that's kind of the sweet spot there. That's exactly what you're looking for on the graph. All right, so we're coming into another productive area right here. And you can see we just have already a crazy awesome stack of walleyes down there. Uh, the important part is to kind of notice how they're positioned here. So you're gonna start seeding on side imaging. You're seeing it come in off the left side right now, and this spot is absolutely loaded with walleye. But what are they relating to here? Well, here we're just off the side of a big time gravel flat. And these fish aren't necessarily relating to the top of that flat. They're off the edge of it. You can see I got real good rock coming in over here, and then sand off the left. And I'm gonna take a screenshot of this so you guys can see it, but there's a big pot of walleye sitting on the sand just off the top of this rise here. I just screenshotted it for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. But you notice here, there's a, the main character on this spot is this gravel high spot, and there's some good rock in there. And the fish aren't necessarily sitting right there. They're just off that top and kind of like that 35 foot flat. So, you know, that's a scenario where you'd probably see most of them if I didn't drive right over the top of that one school. You'd probably see them on side imaging. And I'll kind of loop back through it here. So you guys can kind of catch it from another angle. I kind of like doing these videos like this because a lot of times it shows you guys maybe that you know the spot is not as crazy good it's not this huge boulder field or anything like that a lot of these spots are just kind of natural um just kind of flats where these fish will set up kind of next to a big piece of structure or something real discreet this time of year so this is kind of a big flat which is rolling up and down and the fish won't necessarily be right up on top of the sweet spot all the time like they would be in the middle of the summer a lot of times this time of year, these fish are just kind of relating to the tops of this stuff, but right in the sweet depth range, which this time of year for me is uh, 25 to 30 right now. So you can see I'm just kind of skirting the edge of this. You can see there's a few fish right there on sonar and down imaging. And a lot of these are definitely suckers. These high marks here, definitely walleyes. And there's an absolutely stupid amount of fish on this spot. And then all of a sudden you're gonna start catching a whole bunch of them here, probably on side imaging off the right side, like you can right over here. I'll zoom in on them. And then I'll take a screenshot. So a lot of times I get asked the question, what's rock and what's fish? And this is kind of a perfect interpretation. You're gonna see a rock line. Let me screenshot it. So you're gonna see a rock line that runs on the, on the lower section of where I'm zoomed in at, and then you're gonna see fish relating just to the outside of that. So, you know, it's a pretty, I mean, I guess if you gotta stare at this for 14 more hours to kind of realize what's a rock and what's a fish, um, you can, but, you know, once you get used to looking at this stuff, it becomes much more simple. And that is just the absolutely classic scenario where I see a lot of fish this time of year, um, and really all fall long. 
Well, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully that was very informational. Like I said, we just shot uh, a video and I'm about to shoot another one on catching fish in these same zones. Um, so if you go back to the previous video in the channel or I'll link it down in the description, you can see us rip some spoons for some walleyes. So hopefully this was helpful showing you guys basically what kind of structure we're looking for in the fall in these natural lakes and uh, you know showing you fish on the graph. So um, hopefully it sets you up to have a good fall in the water. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. If you have not yet, please subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.